We don't take you guys in Airbnbs very often, but this weekend we found one that's really special. Welcome to House on the Ridge and look at this view. So House on the Ridge is located about an hour from Nairobi and it's very close to Ngong. So let's come show you around. So we're gonna show you the best part last, obviously, which is the deck on the outside on the other side. But when you come in, you guys know that I love like a grand room basically, so a multifunction room. So we have your kitchen and everything here. On this side, we even have a mini bar area with wine glasses, all of your drinking glasses there. This house actually does come with drinking water as well, so something that you don't have to worry about. I know not all Airbnbs do, just a tip. And then we have our living room here, high ceilings, lots of light, a lot of air that can flow through, which is fantastic. We'll go see bedroom number one. There are three bedrooms in this house, one on either side plus a loft that I'm gonna show you. So the ones on either side are pretty much identical. We have a green. I would say, I think it's a queen size bed here. Lots of windows again. And then if you come into the back, the bathroom is stunning. So you have your shower here, your towel rack. Like it's just the little details that I absolutely love. The style, Dave and I have already said, probably like three times already, that we would live in this house. This is the perfect style house that we love. So back out to the other. Now let's go to the third bedroom upstairs. Like I said, the other side just has a copy paste of this one, but the loft is a little different. So one thing to know about the loft is it is open on the top here, so you can see down. However, something that lofts don't normally have is their own ensuite bathroom. And this one does. A little smaller than the other ones, but that doesn't matter. The fact that you have your own shower and your own privacy up here is amazing. So this is bedroom number three. Now I still have to show you the really cool view that we have. Come on now. So when you come outside, you have outdoor seating here for your meals as well. I will probably have breakfast there, hopefully. And then you even have a pool here. And shockingly, okay, it's not heated, but I did dip my toe in already. It's not that bad, it gets a lot of sun. So, and then you come over to this side. Beautiful seating area. Um, Dave doesn't know it yet, but I did bring my book, so I'm probably gonna be there for like an hour or two tomorrow. <laughs> you have a barbecue here if you want it. But this is one of the best parts of this property. They have a sundowner deck. Just, just wait, come look at this view. So just as the name says, you are a house on the ridge, and this is where you really see the ridge. Not only do you have a stunning view, but sun sets directly in front here. And a lot of properties that have that ridge view, the sunset isn't right there. It's a little off to the side, but no, this is directly in front. So you can come down here, have your sundowners, have your meal here if you want. But over here, there's even a small fire pit with a lounge area. And I can't wait at night because these lights look so cute and it's gonna be the perfect ambiance for a little glass of wine tonight.
So tonight we are treating ourselves with a special meal, a raclette. We brought our own raclette here. Tracy's prepping, well, doing all the prep with vegetables, the bread, the different meat. We're gonna make some sauces as well. Do you all know what a raclette cheeses. is? We're, we're gonna show you what it is. It's pretty good. It's so, really good. It's one of my favorites since I met you. You introduced me to it. Yeah, and it's it's, it's a it's a European thing in like the the Quebec part of Canada is kind of like, the, we're kind of the European of, of Canada. So like we are used to eat that. This is kind of the Americanized version because a true raclette is, is just cheese basically that you melt from a, a half cheese, like a half like meal. A wheel of cheese, yeah, a yeah. wheel of cheese, like straight on like potatoes and vegetable and yeah, bread. Yeah, that's true. Box. Did you watch our Switzerland series? <laughs> anyway, this is like the Americanized version and it's, I think it's even better because there's more like variety. This is my favorite sauce for pretty much like anything that's kind of like meat related, fondue, raclette, anything. You could even use that with steak, to be honest. Mayonnaise, a little bit of ketchup, and then a little bit of sriracha for, for a kick. A little bit, a lot. And a little bit of garlic. If you do have fresh garlic, it's yeah. better but that's gonna do the trick. And then a spoon to mix. A spoon to mix. A spoon to mix. And then a spoon to mix. And <laughs> magic. It just makes that little rosé sauce and it's like just so good. Finally found where I belong, a place I wanted all along. And this is only just the start. So this is a very fancy one that my mother gave to me. Mm -hmm. It actually turns, so like, you know when you're like in the middle of the table and there's a lot of people, like you don't have to be like, oh, can you pass me that or whatever? No, no, just wait, it's gonna come to you. This one's like the best one for when you're hosting, to be honest, because of that function. I love it. Fancy. Fancy. Sometimes it takes a while for like just the first few things to get going. Yeah. Um, but the... once you're going, you're going. Yeah. So here is Racklet 101. Take a piece of bread. And then you take stuff from the top, like a, a little pepperoni, maybe two of them. A um, little piece of onion, whoa. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like turning things as we go because gotta make sure they're cooked. It's very like slow social meal, did we say that? Yeah, it is. And then you put a piece of your favorite cheese on top and you put it under to cook. There's like a hot element on top of that there and it just heats the cheese. Melts everything. This is where it begins. Oh. Mm. This is where it begins. Oh. Oh. This is where it begins. So now that we are full of raclette and clean, mm -hmm. time for us to go to bed. And hopefully tomorrow we're just gonna enjoy this beautiful place. Okay. A little bit of pool, a little bit of reading for Tracy. Yeah, you're gonna be able to relax for like two hours. It's gonna be a great be. day, stay posted. <laughs> See you guys in the morning. Good morning. It's, my watch died. It's, 8.30. Here we go. <laughs> it's been a while since we waited until 8.30 to get out of bed. <laughs> it's pretty nice. Time for some coffee though. For all the guys out there, name one thing that's more attractive than a woman <laughs> that does the dishes. Oh, woo, woo, woo. The one thing we always fight about. <laughs> if we're gonna fight, that's it. <laughs> There is just something about Airbnbs with a nice view with the sun out in the morning 
that just for me. <sighs> and in terms of Airbnb with a view, it doesn't get much better than yeah. this. <laughs> I'm like, it's so beautiful this morning. Just like pineapple on pizza, we have another very serious debate. Are you guys We're smooth? We're on opposite ends. Yeah, are you guys smooth peanut butter or crunchy peanut smooth butter? Smooth all the freaking way. Uh-uh. Crunchy. I had to get crunchy because that's all they had. I'll eat it, but like, it's stickier. Well, there's like a, a depth in the texture, you know? <laughs> Which is something I don't want in my peanut butter. Mm. <laughs> If it's us and if we just like missed it the other three years that we've been in Kenya but like there are so many butterflies like everywhere to the point that it, it looks like it's snowing like thousands of them everywhere we go same thing when we came back from the Mara like a couple weeks ago like they were all in the sky then all in my windshield but yeah <laughs> this is so cool <laughs> Look over here. I'm not very good at doing nothing. Tracy is though. She's excellent at doing nothing. Because I got books done today. <laughs> I don't read books. <laughs> I think uh, I'm gonna go try to pull a little bit. But first, let's eat a sandwich freshly made by my wife Tracy. Thank you. Welcome. It's a pretty good sandwich. I have a hard time believing that like being in it after a while I'm gonna be like oh no now it feels nice I'm not sure yeah it is super right. nice and warm outside though yeah and we're also in the shade part like I'm not saying the water will be warmer but like once we go over there maybe if I put a little water like this Woo! I feel like that's the worst one two I can't look no, I can I can <laughs> I'm such a little wuss <laughs> what are you laughing at you're not even in it a little bit no, you dare get water in my wine. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. It feels so good. I love it. 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 Well, that was a nice and relaxing afternoon by the pool with this beautiful view, of course. Now we're going to make a little Stunning. bit of supper yeah. and enjoy a sunset. I think we're going to have a very nice sunset. I think so too. And fingers crossed, we'll get a fire going too. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> literally made a larger version of raclette what we ate yesterday <laughs> with the leftovers. <laughs> Drizzles a little bit of sauce on top. That one's going the way. So out of all the places we have ever traveled throughout Kenya, I have to say, I don't know if you're gonna agree, but this is the best sunset spot and mm. location we have ever encountered. Yeah. That's, like directly in front, no trees around. It's just stunning, like over the mountain and stuff. And this is why they call it the sundowner deck. Like it's wow, right in front. Like it's beautiful. It is absolutely stunning. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's pretty good. Big rock butt. <laughs> Great relaxing day. Lots of food, lots I'm of fun, of, lots of time together. I'm proud of you. For you doing were... nothing? <laughs> I <much>. prefer doing <laughs> things. Which is totally fine, but like, 
I can tell that you needed it because you even fell asleep for a 15 minute nap. He still denies it, but he was snoring. I did not sleep. <laughs> you snored. <laughs> anyway, for now we're gonna watch a little movie together and see you guys in the morning. Yeah. Fun time. Good night. <laughs> Boathouse on the Ridge. To me, it's a no-brainer for this place. Whether you're two, whether you're six, um, whatever your party group is. I would say for us, because we don't know the area that well, there's not much to do around in the area. But that's okay, because we just took it as a chiller weekend. Yeah. As for the Airbnb itself, I know there's always a lot of questions sometimes with like supplies. Fresh drinking water is here. Um, even all of like their knives were super sharp. Like when yeah. I was cooking the other night, which is something that gets um, overlooked. <laughs> Little things that Tracy appreciates. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the pool, that sundowner deck is absolutely amazing. I could only imagine if we actually had a clear sunset. Yeah. We had some pretty colors in the clouds. So yeah, it was so but... very nice. And like just the overall like decor of the house, the weights, mm -hmm. like the layout and everything. It's really nice. Um, You've got stuff on site, like, you know, if you want a fire, mm -hmm. like they clean the pool, um, they can even do the dishes and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. We don't let them do that. We like to just live in our bubble, but I'm just saying like the possibility is out there. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I know you're super curious about prices. Um, so it starts at $296 um, a night. Canadian. Canadian. So I'm, I'm going to put yeah. the conversions <laughs> on the screen. Our That's Airbnb what I see on the Airbnb yeah. app. Um, and then and it's a per... little bit more expensive on the weekend, Yeah. Uh, but that's pretty much it. So yeah, a great place to come and relax. And like it's only an hour from town. So I yeah. say town, like in downtown to Nairobi. Nairobi. Yeah. But like because of that, it really is the perfect oasis because I feel like I'm disconnected from the city enough. Yeah. But yet like we're going to go home and it's only going to take an hour. Which oh is yeah, you great. feel like you're hundreds of miles away from yeah. the city. Like it's super quiet, super nice. And Wi-Fi works great, so if you want to come over here and work yeah. or just whatever you want to do, this place has it and yeah. that's why I love it so much. So come and relax yeah. at the house on the ridge mm -hmm. and it's time for us to go back to Nairobi where it's hectic. <laughs> yeah. And until <laughs> next time, see you guys. In the next one. <laughs>